Look who's here. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> Are we right? <laughs> Okay, so that, no <laughs> so that noise you can hear is people fixing the roof. Uh, this might be a difficult video, Matt. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it's this... fine. We'll, uh, we'll get around it. It'll be, right. yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll just, if we keep stopping, it's because they're banging. Yeah, there if it go. feels a bit like... Oh, there you go, quickly. Right, yeah, go, go, nope. go. <laughs> so here it is, Matt. The tank. It's looking cool. It's, uh, we've got all lighting underneath, got the substrate. I've got this light for the... Is that showing my address? I've got this light for the background as well. Um, just like, you know, this one over here, you haven't actually seen this yet. So this is my newest ecosystem oh, no, tank. Yeah, that is looking good, isn't it? So yeah, I've gone for that little, like, backlight. See? I was going to say, yeah, the blue looks wicked, doesn't it? But maybe for the, is it Mabuna or Mbuna? Because I've been told off for saying Mabuna. Yeah, I think everyone says Mabuna. I think it is Mbuna. But, um, um, uh, yeah, but I, again, it's, yeah. I'm going with Mabuna and people are going to have to deal with it. Yeah. you I'm, always say Mabuna to I me. I always say Mabuna and everyone, everyone that comes into the shop says Mabuna. So, Mabuna it is. Yeah, Mabuna. I built this for us, eh? Hey? What, are we going racing or? It's quite big, isn't it? <laughs> we could do Red Bull Soapbox Derby. <laughs> we, could, we, we need some steering. Oh, at some though. point you're getting in that. <laughs> <laughs> Done. So basically it's because this desk here is going to be the nano desk. So we're not going to be able to build on it um, very soon. So I needed a desk. For a nano desk, it's quite long. Yeah, it is quite long. Well, I'm going to go with like four tanks, I think. Multiple not... nanos. I'm going to go, well, five including this tank, but I'm, I'm going to put bigger ones there and then a couple of little ones there. So it's just like a range, you know? And the idea for that came from your shop, actually. Oh, the big trolley in the shop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Works really well, so... It does, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, Anyway, we I, need to... I, I didn't think you were putting tanks on this. This was the whole... <laughs> I remember the first time I came in, at this table, this is the table. Things change, Matt, all yeah, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, let's get the lighting sorted on this thing and then we can just get going. There we go, we've got our lights. These are like from Amazon. I'll leave a link. I'm not sure even if they're any good yet, to be fair, Matt, I've not even <laughs> put them on. <laughs> um, nice and simple to set up there. But like I say, I want this light bar at the back. So what I'm gonna do is come around the tank and just put a couple of screws in that it can rest on because I don't think it's gonna stick to this very well with the uh, filmy stuff on, so yeah. Whee! Nice little that's subtle nice. thing. Oh, well, the frosting looks good on that, doesn't it? Yeah, I like, that's why I left the frosting, because I thought it gives you that. It's just a subtle glow, especially with the uh, style of tank we're going to be doing. But I'm going to go white. Is that not white? I don't know. Like, Which is green. green. <laughs> yeah, some of them are a bit off. You'd have purple, wouldn't you? Whee! Here we go. Disco, 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 disco. <laughs> so yeah, multicoloured it is then. Yeah, I like that. I tell you what though, that'd be cool when the kids come in, I'll be able to put that on, I yeah. like that. <laughs> Daddy do the disco. I think I'm... white's nice. Yeah, white's nice. So before we continue, the whole point of this is that Matt is going to be my beginner's guide. I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm going to hopefully ask questions that you guys might ask, even if I kind of know the answer, but I'll just ask it anyway. Substrate, no lights, sorry. <laughs> Right, let me turn them off, Matt, so I can turn them back on again. Right, ready for the lights to come on? <laughs> Whee, that's better. Lovely. I'll tell you what, when you think, so first of all, we need to tell them about the, the tank. The tank is the Aquamarin Planter. Yep. Yes, I've got it now. Yeah. Available at Maiden Heads, all of them. So, and it's an amazing price as well, isn't it, Matt? What's yeah, the price no, of that? Uh, oh, now you've put me on the spot. Isn't it 649? Something Six, like that. 690, I'll, I'll check. Which yes. is a blinking good price. We've got like Opti white glass, really good silicon. We've got an amazing, <laughs> look at the electrics. This will all be tidied up. I just <laughs> wanted to get it going. Yeah, really good draw system. 
with like shelving there and everything. It's just top quality, to be honest, for the price you're paying for it. And then we've gone for this budget lighting option as well, but I think we've got a really, really classy effect there. I'm it really pleased nice. with that, like because we're going for like a fish tank more than usual. Yeah. I think everything around it needs to be quality for it to just really stand out, you know, and, and I don't know where I'm going with this. No. Nah. But do you kind of know what I mean? I know what you mean. <laughs> Hopefully they know what you mean. <laughs> I love this grey as well. My absolute favourite. What's that? Anth Anthracite. Anthracite. Yeah. What is that referring to? Is that a type of stone or something? Grey. It's just grey. I don't know what anthracite <laughs> means, actually. No. It's, it's grey. <laughs> you put me on the spot today. Um, did you order me those two more? Yes. Yes, I've got two more coming because obviously we've made so much space over in this area now because I did have the rack in the middle, but uh, obviously Timmy's going over into his new tank, which is being built after this, but this took priority because this is at Matt's only day available. Um, this My is, bad. This is a sure <laughs> fault. This is coming out and this is coming out. So four foot there, four foot in this area should be good. And then we've already got all the nanos in the middle, a back rack of nanos, and then there's gonna be these racks here. So the lighting is up, looking good. Um, so we can go substrate now, Matt. Yep. Now, usually I do a full on planted, planted soil. And, yeah, nutrients. Do we, no, not today. Are they no. diggers? Absolutely, massive. Okay, so do we need a deep substrate? Not a deep substrate, but enough to support the rocks and everything like that. So you can do it two ways. We could put the rocks onto the glass and then fill round, depending on if you're using pointy rocks or rounded rocks. I think it's the best way. Yeah. If they're going to disturb it. This is it. And then you don't get any collapses or anything yeah. like that. Because yeah. yeah, that's the last thing we want. Uh, actually, we've got some foam we can put underneath them from those lights. Nice. That would work perfect, wouldn't it? That would be perfect, yeah, we can Sweet. sit underneath. Here we go, Look, here's the foamy bits. I don't know where they're going to go yet. I don't even know what the skate... I'm going to go for like a full-on, like, hardscape heavy look. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah. And then we can decide fish stocking around that. Yeah. Like, uh, do you know if the fish that we're going to be getting are big or small? I think they're smaller. So we've got a, a mix of different colours or different species. Yeah. All of a sort of smaller size. So I think that would be nice to mix in there. But I say that, it's not my shop. So I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah, we haven't, I haven't told him yet. Oh, have you not? But after we've built this, we're going to a different maidenhead. <gasps> shop. <laughs> It's only because we don't specialise in You're going to be like a celebrity there, aren't you? They were like <laughs> the chosen one. Yeah, they've got the, the golden car. boy. They've got the red carpet out and everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So, Sirius stone first, I think. Just get a nice little pile going that we can then place the wood onto. Yeah, yeah, um, that'll work nicely. As usual, let's not overthink it. Yep, let's get it in there. Please don't drop, please don't drop. That's so nearly dropped out of my hand. That was so close. We'll be going Jewel Island, one big island. Right, peaked in a small, that might work, might not it? So yeah. And then keep the sides clear, yeah? Yeah, I would. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Matt's giggling with a rock par, turned around and he's picked up the biggest one that he can find. It's like a breeze block. It's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it might prop up our other one though. Okay. But I might need help. Yes. And <laughs> some. But yeah, like that, and it's kind of hiding the squareness. You can put something in front of it to hide yeah. that bit. Yeah. Just gives us more structure, doesn't it? Yeah, that's cool though. Look, we've got one high island and one lower one. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. Just keep going. Just keep going to you're happy. That looks like a proper Iwagumi style sort of, mm. just needs a carpeting plan. I mean, let's me not do Malawi's, let's carpet, soil, carpeting plan. Hang on, me and you might say that, but I think proper oh, Iwagumi yeah, people sorry. would have our I, heads for said, that. Yeah, it looks like, <laughs> yes, no, I know. <laughs> Actually, the main stone needs to be offset yeah. and fun. Yeah. yeah, it needs more tension. I, I was trying to pretend I knew the rules then, I don't know yeah, the rules. Yeah, I don't know the rules either. I just throw rocks and wood at a tank, if I'm honest, yeah. <laughs> And we could either do wood now or stick some sand in. What do you reckon? Oh, no, I want to, first of all, I'll trim around that so you don't see it at all. Yeah, 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 because they, they will expose that by digging. Okay. Half tempted to leave it as rocks, but I really want to put some wood in. Yeah, yeah, a bit of wood, that'd be nice. <laughs> we can always counteract it with some coral sand in the filter or something like that to buff the pH. It's fairly easily done. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So do we need to, so some people said about that, yeah. They are like, oh, my plants do so well because of my... They think I've got, like, really soft water. And when they say that, I think they think they mean pH. My pH isn't low. Is it not? Yeah. It's seven. Oh, okay. Wow. It's bang on. Like, okay. 
Um, the only thing that's lower is the, uh, the hardness of so the actual PPM is, is like out the tap is about 100. Okay. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. probably why I get away with yeah. no water changes for so long Absolutely. because until it gets to the point where it's a problem, I've taken the tank down. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, no, it's um, yeah, I'm surprised at that to be fair. We're lower pH up the road, so uh, yeah, it's always bang on in the middle, yeah, always. Nice. Um, but yeah, we can always mess around with the pH if we need to. It's quite easily done, you know, simple way coral sand in a little filter bag in the filter that'll buffer the pH up a little bit for them. Um, is that is that required because I thought they were bred now to be at seven? So yeah, a lot of them are to be honest. Like a lot of them, when you look at a lot of the breeders, unless you're going for the really rare ones, which are cap, which are. Well, cool. or, or well, what cool. they call F1 or F2, so it's very closely related to wild stock. Right. Unless you're going for them, you'll find that the wild caught ones are a little bit more, obviously, yeah, wanting that proper pH of 8, 8, 5, something like that. But whereas the ones that are captive bred and the ones that we're looking at have been in captivity for years and bred in captivity for years. So, so seven's perfect. Seven would be absolutely fine. With a little bit of buffering from the rock and stuff, we'll be absolutely yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let's wood it up then. <laughs> Is that a phrase? I don't... Wood up? Mm, Let's no, wood up. I'm, I'm no, not sure. I don't, yeah, we shouldn't say that. No. <laughs> so wood-wise, this, this is great because I get to use these big pieces. This is why I love the big tanks. Um, I mean, that's pretty epic. Yeah, that is pretty cool. But it's cool. quite bulky, although that, that could be quite cool, couldn't it, Matt? Yeah, that would work really nicely. There's a stump over there. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I want to use that for a tank coming up that's going to be a tree stump tank. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you saying about that one. Um, then we've got more of this kind of wood here, so we could do more thin style, which might work. Yeah, that could work, couldn't it? Should yeah. I just get that one down and we'll have a look? Yeah, I think that chunky one. Let's have a look at that. This is a big piece. Have oh, you used this one before then? Um, it's got glue on it. I think I've used it in my African tank before. Ugh. We might only just want that and a little bit of an accent. Yeah, don't even know if we want that. Mike, it's massive, isn't it? It is huge. Too much. It's just how it's going to fit in with that rockscape, isn't it? It's just going to sit on it and not look great. Mm. Now we'll skip that one. Tell you what I have got, Matt. Vinewood. What do you think, Grace? Do you want it? Do you like it? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Yeah. <laughs> Gracie, you can, can you put it in the tank for me then, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it? <laughs> oh, bless. I think this will work quite well with the fish as well in terms of like not overpowering from them. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I've got a few pieces as well, so. Oh, I'm liking that. Good shadows as well, yeah? Yeah. And it just sits perfect as well. Something like that or even more angled and then another piece this side. Try that one for now. We've got a few more pieces that we can work with as well. And then we can do one over here following the same sort of lines but lower because it's a lower... Yeah, lower island. I mean, that's quite cool, isn't it? That is cool. And it's not taking up a lot of swim room. No. But it's making... It's got some good negative space over there. And it's not a massive chunk of wood that's going to soften the water too much and things no. like that as well. So, Hang on. yeah. Oh, let's move back. Oh, hang, on, hang on, hang uh -oh, on, hang on. Uh oh, the monster. Are you going for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you've got aquariums underneath it. It's not going to happen. Oh, don't drop it. It's heavier than it looks as well. No, I think it is it's as the... heavy as it looks. Oh, it's huge. It's the lean as well here. Yeah, oh. and the little bit of random lava stone that you've got up there that. Uh... Yeah, I wanted it propped up like that because it just looked more dramatic. Oh, that is sketchy looking, isn't it? We're good. Oh, tap test, perfect. You Fine. know the rules. All right. So, cool. passed. Fine. Okay, we've decided. KT. <laughs> <laughs> Forever, whenever. So we can be sat in here for ages, Matt, and I'll be filming. Uh, I'll be not filming, I'll be yep. editing, sorry. And the second I go start filming, KT yep. starts going around banging and everything. <laughs> it's just tidying, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so we're really happy with this shape. Like negative space there, negative space there, but look at that, it all follows. And I like the way this stick looks like it travels all the way through, but it doesn't, it's a separate piece. 
Nice one, Kate. That's all right. Don't worry about it. It's all right. We won't to be honest, this is nowhere near as bad as the roof that yeah. was being hammered. They have gone home now. They've gone home well, because... Hopefully. Well, they, we just had the biggest flash flood ever out there. And I, I, yeah, it must not have been nice on the roof up there for them. No, they wouldn't Funny have enjoyed though. that. Maybe they all washed away. But that's okay. fine. They're quiet now. So this wood will not stay. It's very buoyant, actually. So we're going to go to town with the glue on this one. Going to use tissue and glue, cyanoacrylate, and that will lock it all in place. So here's the tissue, just normal sort of tissue we've got the liquid form of cyanoacrylate glue there and then this is a hard that just makes it all just locked up matt have you bought some of this yet have you still forgot no, i still forgot you should probably do it now i've got it's on amazon i'll add it on amazon now it's fine it's like a i don't even know what it is it says accelerator i don't even know what it's really used for i know it's safe though and how do i know it's safe because i've used it so many times with no That's issues <laughs> Right, we're all stuck down. It's pretty solid. There's some nasty glue marks, but that's fine because we will be adding some Anubias to this. Um, I was going to do no plants, but I just, I can't do no plants, can I? No, I think a little few accents of green will look nice definitely, in there, to be definitely. honest. Definitely, yeah. Uh, but should we add substrate now? Yeah. So I've gone for a medium sand, not like a fine. No. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely okay. fine. As long as they can move it and dig it, they'll be fine with that. Do they, do they sift it like a geophagus or not? Uh, a little bit, not to the same extent as a geophagus, but they will pick it up and they will move it. So yeah, okay. it's good to have something that they can move. But yep. I have seen these guys move pebbles when they're fully grown. So well, yeah, like it's... nutting it around the tank. yeah, like you know, golf ball size <laughs> stuff. So um, I don't think a little bit of sand will get in their way. Okay, this is gonna look epic by the end of it. I think so too. We're, we're stuck. I'm keeping that in. Are you keeping it in? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we're stuck. The wood. No, the wood's stuck. We're yeah. not stuck. Um, next up, sand. Yeah. I that would help. I think I mentioned this already. Just, just put the blinker sand there. Pick it up. Go. <laughs> oh, you're doing the old paw paw. What do you want to do? This. This is the worst blade I've ever had. I'm going ASMR. I'm going background, so it's just in, yeah? Five bags going to be enough, do you think, Matt? I reckon so, yeah. We don't want too much in here. Looks quite dusty. It does, yes, but that's what AccuClear is for. Okay, we're quite dusty to start with, but uh, a point worth noting, and I think you'll agree, Matt, we've got quite a few cracks in there. Yep. Should we fill them in, or should we leave them for the fish to be able to go in and out? Yeah, the fish will go in and out, and you'll find that the babies will be able to find refuge in there if you ever get any babies, so no. I thought you were going to say that, because usually if I was doing a planted tank, I'd fill those in because I'd be worried about all the waste and everything like that. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. You might need to obviously get like a turkey baster and blast out the waste every now and again, but... You mean I've got to do work? Absolutely. So this I'll come down my... once a month and do it. It's fine. I'll maintain this tank when I'm coming down to scape other tanks. That's okay, fine. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that could be part of each video as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I will do it because this... I don't have to do anything to the rest of them, do I? So no, this is it. And it doesn't one... take much. Obviously, where the cracks and the gaps are, it's just get a turkey base, just squirt in there, yeah. and then that'll get it into the suspension of the water, and then your filter will pick it up. So, yeah. Do I need a... Uh... Filter? Yes. No, not a filter. <laughs> Do I need a power head or anything, a wave maker? You could do. Yeah, absolutely. That would help. So obviously the more flow and the more... Uh, uh, are they, yeah, but are these fish okay with flow? Yeah. They get along well with her. Yeah, they get fine. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's it's too much. It's too much. As much as they are a lake fish, again, yeah. because these, the ones that we're looking at have been bred in captivity for so long, they don't really mind it. So okay. yeah, a little power head in there, pumping some water around wouldn't hurt. I can see if I've got one. If not, I can always get one. Yeah, but, this uh, is it. It's not a necessity, but uh, yeah, no, I think it'll work well. That's two bags. Should we keep going? Yeah, I think so. Now, I'm not even going to attack. Oh, nice brushing. Nice brushing. <laughs> nice that, isn't it? Yeah. You could just wait for the water and it comes off anyway, but. Uh... <laughs> You've got to look professional. What? When have we ever done that? Ah, uh, yeah, valid. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to straighten up this front, but there's no point, is there? It's nope. Not, it's not really that kind of tank, is no, it? No, they will dig and they will move it. We they will let it do its thing then. Yeah. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> no, it doesn't really bother me. Some people have to have that, like, you know what I mean? That like real neat front, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, they'll move it. They'll do what they want Just to do. Just got to accept, this is a fish tank, and they're, it's going to be all about those fish. So whatever they want, 
that's what they get. Yeah. Do can we add detail pebbles? Do you think? Yeah. Or? If you wanted to add a bit of scatter stone and detail gravel, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, yeah, I yeah. think we should. They'll just mix it in a little bit, and you can always add more at a later date if you need to. Yeah. Because at the moment it looks a little bit like sterile. Do you know what I mean? I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look. I know some people like that look. It's personal preference, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. If you like that look of clean sand, but for me, no, I'm, yeah, I like having that little bit of variation in grade size. Okay, uh, let me find something. I'm really making use of this already, aren't we? I know, it's great. We've yeah, got yeah. rubbish on it. We've got <laughs> gravel on it. It's great. So this is the scatter gravel we're going to use, like rounded and not too colourful because we didn't want to take away from the fish. They've got some really nice pink pebbles over there, which I used in my bowl, but that might, that might be too much. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, neutral colours... Keep fish as the uh, centre point. Done. Let's just get scattering that. Beautiful. Perfect. Done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Finished. Don't need Inst any more. To be fair though, instantly with just that, I like it way better. Yeah, I already. totally agree. It just naturalises the whole scape. And like, I'm fortunate enough to have one that's matching there, but it doesn't really matter sometimes. It doesn't even have to be bang on. No, not at all. Not at all. You'll find, I think the more you, not necessarily the more, but yeah, you, the more you mix it up a little bit, the more natural Get it can Get a bit like look. contrasty. Yeah, this is yeah. it. Yeah, because it's got a nice little blue tone to it. Yeah, that's, that stuff's got greens and blues in it. Yeah, because some of the cereal you has as well. Yeah, with the algae growing on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're really happy with that. Um, it's just a case now of, oh no. <laughs> gonna put some Anubias on? Oh yeah, yeah. I, part Ooh. of me doesn't want to. Yeah, I know, there's a big part of me now looking at that that I don't want to. But I think we, sh I think we should. Even if it's just a... A few, yeah, a few highlights, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. If, if not, we can always take them out if we don't yeah. like them. So yeah, no, good. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. So I have got a ton of plants in here. So if you look at the back there, look at all of that um, Echinodorus map. That is map. nice, isn't it? So that's what I want to do for an angel tank. Lush. Yep. I want like a full on Echinodorus, like a bit like what we did with the river one, yep. but, but a bit less wooly and a bit more key points. Nice. Okay, yeah, black yeah. background. And then I want to do like a nice good amount of angels. Smart. I love my free angels that I've got over in the uh, Tetra one. Yeah, yeah. But I want a proper that's, you know, just for angels, maybe a little school or something. Yeah, nice. I say that now, there's going to be 300 fish in there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to have one of them, one of them, yeah. So we've got all the Echinodorus, we've also got all the Java fern, but it's not that kind of tank at all. So we're going for the big leafed um, Anubius. I've got some more over in the other plant storage as well, but what do you reckon, those big ones? Yeah, we can try some Hatterophila, I think they'll look nice. Yeah. I've also got my shrimp tank here, look. Just some nice little mini ones if we want to just plonk that somewhere in the foreground as well. So yeah. that'd be quite nice. That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, how are, are the Mabuda with snails? Until they love them. Oh, they will eat them. Yeah. <laughs> so I literally can't even have a cleanup crew. No, no. <laughs> it's it's just, fine. It will be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> so in the wild, Mabuda are gr algae grazers. So okay. that's what they're designed for. They've got these teeth that sort of graze off algae. So they will do some of it. So I, I should, it's worth noting, I've got the lights turned up to maximum right now because obviously we're making the tank, but I will probably dim them a little bit. Um, and I found that with tanks, it really, really does keep on top of any algae. So, and, and then I can just adjust it as I go to find the balance. If I turn it up a bit and start getting a bit more, come back down again, you know, simple as that really. It, yeah, exactly. And the thing is, you're only going to have Anubias in there and they don't really require that much light. No, so exactly. you could drop it down to three, four hours a day if you need to. Yeah, yeah. Just I, keep I'd never do that. Because no? I just like seeing it. Yeah, I'd rather have it on for it? longer with less. Yes, yeah, yeah. 20% for eight hours yeah. instead of 40% for four hours. Yeah, exactly. If that like, math I, I want to enjoy it, yeah. you know, so. I totally agree. I, I don't get these people that only do that. It's, no, sorry, that's not fair of me to say. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. But yeah. I like it on all day to see I suppose it. if you're working in, I suppose it depends on your working hours and when yeah, you're true. at home and things, true. you know, because all my lights turn on at four o'clock in the afternoon so that when I get home at five, six, yeah. all the fish are buzzing about and then they go off at 10, 11 o'clock. Do you do a split period? Do you have them on in the morning? Certain ones I do, yeah. Some of them I'll have a, a break in about seven o'clock, eight o'clock. I don't always go right down. I'll go down to maybe 10 or 20%. Yeah, yeah make, um, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. If but you're not there, but I'm here all day most of the time. I know, exactly. So. This is it. So I suppose if you're at home, you would want them on all day. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one there. What about one on that peak as well? If that stays. Yeah, there you go. Well, we're we talking here. Uh, in there somewhere, yeah. Yeah, like that. Not just the one, we'll get a few. I should have five of everything. Yeah, that's going to look cool, isn't it? Or is it taken away? It's such a tough one. It is a tough call. I think it, both ways looks good. Yeah. I think the rock and the wood just looks scapey and yeah. very, like, clean. 
the Anubius just I, adds a different dimension. Maybe we to need it. a bit more, and then it yeah, let's bit, do a yeah. few more, yeah. and then we can see what it looks like. Yeah, grab that one. I reckon somewhere in the foreground, there might be some shrimp on it. I was going to say, I was just fluffing the snails off of it so that they don't dry out in that tank. Make sure there's no duckweed on it, please, Matt. I like duckweed, Dave. <laughs> Mabunas won't let duckweed grow in your tank. Okay, so oh, so I can feed them that as well, yeah? I would expect so, yeah. they When we put it in the sumps at work, it all disappears fairly quickly. So. Okay. I'm thinking foreground. Yeah, it's like yeah here, I'm maybe. thinking that as well. It's cooling, isn't it? And it's already on serious stone, so... Yeah, it's nice. Just a little bit more, a little bit of a different texture compared to the other ones. I might have some more dotted about as well, if I can find... Yes, I have. Okay, cool. We're good. We're so good. I've just remembered. I've got like a whole tank under here, look. Oh, ideal. It's right. just like full of all those. <laughs> Let's ransack that then. <laughs> Matt, I've put this one here, but I've left a little cave entrance. Oh, nice. Yeah. So oh, yeah, go. that's lovely. Like a little... Look at this beast. Of... Oh, yes. It's got a bit of sedge in it as well, <laughs> but there is... Yeah, I think that'll work well. So now we've got more in, the plants are definitely adding to it. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Ideal. And these little ones are perfect for just filling in sort of areas like that, where the branch meets. Before you know it, this is just gonna be <laughs> Anubius everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, I think it's just a few key points. More. Yeah, it does <laughs> More is more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was in, when I was in Aquashella, Matt, this, um, they were doing an axe scraping competition. Oh yeah. And the guy that won it um, said, Basically, all he's been doing is watching my videos and he just went with more is more. It is. <laughs> and it was a great tank as well. I was like, oh, thank you for the shout out and that because, yeah, he was a really nice guy as well. I can't remember his name because I met so many people, but yes. I've got, were they boost? I don't know. I think one of those things is I've never seen it done. Right, we're going to put some in and we're going to test the waters. Yeah, because test obviously boost, boost are a little bit more of an expensive plant, quite new on the scene. And generally, Malawi people don't do plants that much. No, so, but tough yeah. leaf. So. They are tough leaf. They are epiphyte. I don't think they would touch them. I'm doing it. I've got several rocks on it that I don't need, but... I think we need one down here. Oh, what about that, Matt? Look at this. Yeah, nice. Oh, great colours. And the thing is, if we put enough plants in like this, although they're not pulling from the uh, substrate, they are pulling from the water column still. So if there's enough of them, it will help. It yeah, will just help okay. just take up excess nutrients. Yep, absolutely. And I think we need just one more bigger plant in this section here, if I can get it to go in the gap. Is that good or is that too overpowering in the front? Mm. I quite like it actually. Yeah, I think that's cool. It's like a real focal point, yeah. isn't it? And then you've got this area here that has got less, so yep. it works, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I like that. I'm liking Sweet. that. Woohoo, that's uh, pretty quick. I yeah, I like what, that. I don't know why I woohooed that. Woohoo. <laughs> Woo but we can fill it up. <laughs> just, that's all we've got to do, fill it up and then we can get a filter fitted as well. Right, so it's full, it looks good, doesn't it, Matt? Yeah, it's looking quality, like, yeah. So Matt's put the, uh, ho uh, what's that, inlet and outlet, stainless <laughs> steel ones. Um, they're separate, I buy them separate to the actual filters. Um, but So I'll leave a link to those if you're interested. But what we're putting in is the Awaze, what's this, Matt? Is this I think it? it's the 600. Or is it, yeah, it's the 600. It's the yep. 600, okay, cool. More than adequate for the job, I think. But that, that filter there is full of media that has been running on this tank for a long time. I'm just gonna swap this one out for a smaller one because it doesn't even, it could run without a filter to be honest because that one's barely been working because I hadn't cleaned the pre-filter out in four months. <laughs> but it's all full of beneficial bacteria now which means our tank is cycled straight away. Now, usually I don't even cycle tanks, if I'm honest, I never do because I do planted tanks, don't I? Yep. Planted tanks, add quick start, low stock in to start with, absolutely fine. I'm guessing with a setup like this and with the fish that we're going to put it, put in with the numbers, yeah, you've really got to. Can you still do it if you're doing regular water changes and monitoring? It's riskier because they are they're a bit more feedy. They're definitely a bit more of a hungry fish, a bit yeah. more of a pooper. Um, okay, <laughs> but yeah, no, you can still sort of get away with it. But uh, yeah, I'd stay. Not only if you knew what you're doing. If yeah, you are a true it. beginner, like we're trying to say here, Absolutely. you've got to cycle your tank first. Yeah. And especially the plants that you can put in with them, like the Anubiuses, aren't those heavy hitting sort of stem plants that are going to grow quickly. Yeah. They're not going to pull out those nutrients like stem plants do. Ideally, you have a second filter set up and you can just transfer some media over and that will seed it when it and yep. keep your eye on it test the water but otherwise there are plenty of videos and everything on the internet about um, cycling tanks I'm not even going to pretend to tell you how to do it because 
other people could do it better and I don't even do it myself. So that doesn't mean like I'm putting, the, I'm not putting the fish at danger for me, am I? No, no not, not, not the way it. we're doing it with the filtering things in here, no. No, I mean, it, no, I meant in terms of how I usually do it. Oh, how you, yes. Because yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. get any losses. You know? No, this is it. And it's, it's all about working with what you've got. You know, you're not putting a hundred fish into a 30 litre aquarium. No. You're, it's all size relative. So yeah, absolutely. And once you've got those plants growing, yeah, nothing's going to happen. Within a week, you know, I do a few, go up quite a few, well, not always actually. That tank back there, that ecosystem there, has not even got a filter, and I've done one water change on it since I set it up like three weeks ago. Because yeah. the stocking's low, there's a ton yeah. of plants, so, but that's not really the case with this one. So, yeah, make sure your tank cycle before you add these kind of fish. But yeah, we can just plug this one in now and get it going, and then whilst it's clearing, even it filled up pretty well, but uh, we can go clearer than that, and then we can go and get the fish. Right, now we've put on the filter, obviously there's a little bit of crud that's come out, but we're gonna put some AccuClear in and then go get the fish. By the time I come back, this will be absolutely crystal clear. That's all we need. Matthew, where are we? <laughs> are we on the right side again? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. No, uh, oh, yeah. no, we're not. We're not very good at this <laughs> no, today, are we? Forgetting. No, no. Where are we? We are Maiden Head Aquatics at Sanders. Another shop. Another shop, a different shop. He's already walked in and started giving abuse to all the other team members <laughs> about how amazing he is and his shop I is. I did not. Yeah, no, did. I was asking them questions. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so these, we're here because they've got a really good Malawi section. Not that you haven't, but you haven't got this range. No, mine's much smaller. I've got about half, if not less, to be honest, yeah. Because, like... You know, Matt's moving into specialising in certain areas. These guys specialise specialise in this area, so it was the place to come. And it's how far did we travel? Like 40 minutes? Yeah, 35, 40 minutes sort of Easy. thing. So it's really not Easy. that far up the motorway. So yeah, let's have a little look. Um, I've got no idea what we're picking, what will go well together. So Matt can talk you through that because you can't just put everything with anything else. No, it's a little bit more. Well, I suppose it's the same as the tropical community stuff, isn't it? Really, because there Still is. Still got to pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to pick the right ones. But yeah, it's um. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's have a look for it. Okay, talk me through it. What are we going for here? Well, so... Because so far, all I'm seeing is colours. Yep, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So I think we're going to stick to this bottom row here and one more up there sort of thing. There's a load of different colours. So I think we're going to go some yellows, some reds. There's some really cool albinos in here, which are like white almost. Okay, um, so what, are there different names for the different colours or just different variations? Yeah, absolutely. So what you've got, there's, it's, it's quite big, to be honest. So... Two main groups in Malawi is your open water swimmers and your rock dwellers. Yeah. We're going to go mostly rock dwellers in this, which is Mabuna or Umbuna. So it's, like these ones here? Absolutely, yeah. These are red zebras. So these guys are going to be, um, yeah, a bit more rock dwelly. They're probably going to be the more aggressive ones that we're going to put into this tank. Um, they're a little bit more sort of feisty when they get older, um, but they'll get that really nice, like, orangey, deep reddy sort of colour once they're a little bit more mature. So are these ones here as well so again slightly different so these are a lake victorian cichlid so still sort of in that african cichlid group but slightly different and then like when you look next door these are open water swimming malawi so absolutely gorgeous fish but you can see that bit slightly more sort of pointed snout yeah um and they are more open water so you can see the male that's just sort of at yeah, the yeah. back there with the blues Whoa. and yellows yeah and then these will all be subdominant males or females. So these are not for our tank today? No, not this I, one. I think, like I say, maybe a future tank. If you want to get into a bit more, we could do some open water swimming tanks as well, because yep. they are cool. Yeah, definitely. Just well, depends how you want to See how this one goes. Yep, this is good. Know. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But I'm already getting excited about some of the other ones I'm looking at well, as well. Well, this is it. So. Lake Victorians that you were looking at and things like that, they are amazing. This is one of the other ones I think we need to put in there. Oh, yeah. Which is Yellowtail ACI. So you get that bright yellow fins and then that blue body to them, like electric blue body. So really, really nice fish. Yeah, I'm liking those, Matt. Yeah, they're going to look good. I think if we hit four or three or four different colour forms, yeah. that's going to give us a real nice mix of colour in that tank, real pop. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, that's what I really want to go for. Um, is this, so I've read before or heard before that you go for numbers and yes. the numbers stops the aggression. Absolutely, yeah. So you overcrowd them to stop them essentially being able to pinpoint one fish. If right. they pinpoint one fish, they can pick on that one fish. Yeah. So you're not stopping the fight, you're just dispersing it amongst them all to Absolutely, yeah. tolerable levels, this more than it. tolerable levels, because yeah, yeah. they would be then doing it to other fish that are then doing it to them. And this is it, and they're distracted, so someone swims past and they go and check that one out, and then another one goes past, and it just keeps them distracted. So yeah, okay. it's the best way to keep them, generally. 
So we want the yellow tails. ACI. I just need to point these out to you as well. Yeah, these are cool, but they're not... They are they're not. a Tanganyikan. Now, the weird thing is, is obviously most Tanganyikans are sort of more micro-predator sort of thing. These guys are actually fully herbivorous, so they are an algae grazer from Lake Tanganyika. Um, okay. So they're amazing. So they actually, like the fish we're looking at today, they would actually fit better in a Malawi community like that than they would a Tanganyikan community, um, just because of the way they feed. But I think... Yeah, these guys will keep They remind me out. of Corys, the they're, way they're moving. Yeah, they're just buzzing about. Cool thing is, when they're older, they don't actually keep these spots. They go, like, black, bright blue face, and then, like, a yellowy band, like a white-yellow band in the middle of them. I really like them. Shall I tell you what I'm liking is that uh, there seems to be a thought process in everything they're doing, yeah. rather than, like, you know, with a the Tetra, they'll just, they kind of move yeah. in, a, like, a really weird whatever way. Absolutely. Whereas this one, they all look like they've got, like, a little mission. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get, and then there's something here. No, we saw something down here. Yeah, you'll you know? find that with the Malawis because they are the cichlids are just that little bit more um, characterful, a yeah. bit more sort of yeah, just intelligence levels. Yeah, isn't absolutely. It? Yeah, this is it. It's not that shoaling mentality. It's that it's they've got their own agenda, like you said, and they're out yeah. to do their own little thing. Okay, so we want the ACI. Yep, yellow-tailed ACI. I think they're going to look good. We've got blues and yellows with that. Then. Yep. Then I'm thinking. Thinking red zebras because yep. that's then giving us that orange, that ready sort of pop in the aquarium. Those are not. Those are not. Right. No, they're Victorians. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Then we'll I'm go, learning. I'm learning. We're getting there. We'll get albinos. Yeah. Because I think they're cool. They get white. They get pink. Bright red eyes. Really cool. And then I'm thinking yellow labs as well. Okay. That's giving us four really cool colours. What about these? No, that's dragon blood. Peacocks, so they're uh, they're Victor. open waters as well. Okay. Yeah. See. But yeah, yeah. I've got like Yohanai in there. Um, but the issue with them is they tend to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, as you can see, that big male that's hammering around and showing off to all the other ones now. Um, they tend oh, to... Oh, I, I thought you meant these. Yeah, they are. Those. Oh, they're just... They're, they're similar. Right. They're, yeah, just sizing. So, yeah, it's... So, um, they, cool, the difference in colour mm, is absolutely yeah. massive. You'll find that it? with a lot of them, though. Obviously, the yellows and the reds look good, but the older they are, the brighter they get. So Rainbows, they basically. Like Pretty rainbows. much, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is it. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, I would tell you to bag them up, but... I'm not in uniform, so... You're, you're not bagging up? Yeah. Someone bag them up, please. 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 You ready? <laughs> <laughs> so the guys are just bagging up the fish for us, but I just wanted to show you this reef tank because it's absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to probably have to do, do this as well. Yeah, I think we've, <laughs> we've got to take a step into it at some point. I yeah. will do. Yeah, because you can provide me with the water. Yep. The mixed water. Absolutely. Um, do I do as many water changes as you would in a... Well, I don't in my particular tanks, but... Uh, it depends what route you go down. There's many different ways of reef keeping, but yeah, we could definitely... There's ways of working it. And we know where to come to get the stuff as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We can come and see the guys up at here. Yeah, because you... So they've got this amazing display, but they've also got, like, a full-on, like, sales section as well. So all the corals... I don't know. I don't have a clue what I'm looking at, but I know it's pretty. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. It looks nice and it's pretty and it waves about a little bit. God, look at this guy. That's a clown, isn't it? Yeah, it's a maroon clown. So yeah, one of the bigger, big, well, the biggest species of clown, I think. Crikey. Yeah, chunky. Yeah, I like. Is that? Is so they don't all get that big? No, no, no. So that's. that's I know they can grow bigger than. Yeah, you'll they, see them bigger. Probably, uh, you know, maybe half that size on a common clownfish. Maybe a little bit bigger on the females, because uh, the females will always get bigger than the males. Oh, look at this one. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, that's the end, the little false grammar. Awesome. Yeah, there's so much colour and so much interest in it, to be fair. Thing is, if I start this, I'm the sort of bloke that, like... It's a slippery slope. When I get into, like, collection mode... Yes. <laughs> yeah. It could be, it could be, yeah. Before you know it, the channel's bankrupt and I've got to sell all the tanks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I've got loads of cool saltwater things. <laughs> And they've also got this really cool paludarium in there, I guess. Yeah. Like paludarium. Paludarium. Pe pearl of it. Yeah, that's that really one. cool. I like that. Works yeah, it's well. cool, isn't it? With all the mosses yeah. coming down the rocks and the wood. Are they panch killifish? Uh, yeah, yeah, panchaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, golden wonder panchaks. Yeah, so, yeah, nice. they'll get quite a bit bigger than that. Um, but yeah, it's quite cool to have a surface dwelling fish in there. It's a really nice setup. I'm just trying to see how it's working here. Yeah, it's just an external filter by the looks of things and then just trickling down through. Through a lot of big rocks. Yeah. So underneath all of this moss, terrestrial moss is all the rocks, terrestrial ferns. So, yeah, it's pretty... Okay, so there's... Let me move around there, Matt, so I can see around. Oh, it's the foam. There you go. Ah, okay, that's clever. Yeah. Yeah, very clever. So it's just spray foam built up and then you can direct the flow of the of this lot down where you want all your growth to be yeah it works really well might have to do something like that at some point i mean i did great. i did do something like that before with my um axolotl yeah yeah but that was a long time ago um 
yeah, it might be worth revisiting that kind of setup again because it looks great. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, this does always get annoying. Yeah, the but then most, I've yeah. got one of those tanks, so you get that anyway. That's it, yeah, you just got to wipe it over every now and again, haven't you? Oh, you've got to do work? Sometimes. Oh, yeah. I'm out, I'm no, out. <laughs> not doing that then. And we fake walk in. You with your Crocs on. After you, Matthew. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> How are we looking? Oh my goodness, it is so clear. <laughs> oh my word. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty nuts, isn't it? The power of API yeah. AccuClear, combined with brilliant filtration, let's yeah. be honest. Um, look at that, it's just like, it's like there's no, well, if not for the rippling, which I love. Mm. Yeah, so we could either do it rippling or not rippling. Let's have a look, not rippling, to see. Do you want me to undo it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, no, I know I want it rippling, but if people didn't want to, all you've got to do is lower the, the inlet. Break the LED bar at the back. Oh no. <laughs> oh, terrible. That's that shoddy workmanship. Yeah, so obviously it's still flicking a bit because the surface bit's stopping. So you could have it like a completely clean look like that, but I don't, I don't think that's as good, do you? I think they both, uh, they both have their uh, merits, I think. I quite like both of them. That looks waterless though, didn't it? That it looks does. so clean and waterless. Yeah. Go up again without taking off the light bar. Where do you want to go? There? Yeah, that looks, oh, come on, you've got to have that ripple. Because that shimmer effect on the fish as well, I think is going to oh, be Oh yeah, great. that would look good actually, yeah. Wicked. Do I want floating plants, Matt? No. They're going to eat them? Probably. Well, I can then. Well, yeah, you can if you want to. <laughs> but I think it looks quite clean. Clean. Yeah, yeah I'm, with you. I'm with you. Right, let's, let's put the fish at the top just to get them used to the temperature. Get them floating. I'll turn the lights off as well. And then we can put them in. Why not? Does that sound like a plan? Oh, you got the, oh, look at that. See, the lights even come with a remote. How cool is that? No, it's cool. I tell you what, we could, uh, we could turn this one. Do, do the, do the, do. <laughs> I don't think the fish are going to enjoy that. <laughs> no, it's a bit much, isn't it? I can't my stop little, it. My little girl liked it. But, I can't uh, stop it. It's not stopping. <laughs> oh, no. I think I got Thank it. Thank goodness for that. I was going to say, if it's stuck on that. <laughs> okay, let's do it. They are actually a good size. Yeah, they're going to be eaten. You know, they're probably the size of your smaller rainbows. Yeah. Which is perfect, really, because they're going to grow in a little bit and not overpower the tank straight away. How are we for water level? <laughs> we're right on the brim. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, traditional MD, I didn't check the tank was level at all because this one is, I assume this one isn't. Sorry. <laughs> because this one is, I assume this one would be, but it turns out there's a little nubbing underneath that part of the floor so we're up like a very slight amount there but we're not going to worry about things like that are we you no, know it's not a great deal to be honest across the whole thing no i'll let it go the I'll slanty tank was way more than that <laughs> i mean we weren't going for a deliberate slanty tank. yes we were yes yeah that's what yeah yeah because this is the lake edge that's right the edge <laughs> of the lake <laughs> so many of you guys have dissed me before for my coffee skills of using instant coffee and said that's not coffee. So I've got a machine and pods and it works really, really well. Or rather, uh, it would work really well if I put the cup in the place the cup's supposed to go and then tell it to pour. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, do you know the funniest thing? I did this this morning as well. How? This, this is the second time today I've done this. <laughs> but there's nothing to catch. I just pressed the button and walked off. <laughs> like part of me thought, yeah, the glass is there. I do. Okay, I, I think having done this twice now, it won't happen again, but it might. I'm gonna print a little sticker for you. I'm gonna print it there. It requires glass. Yeah, please place mug here. <laughs> <laughs> not your head. <laughs> I'm not a dumb guy, but I do dumb things, mm, you know? Which sort of leads me to believe that it... you I am a dumb, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, time hath passed. Yeah, and we have coffee now. <laughs> In a mug. Although I did try and fill it up again, forgetting the pod this time and just got hot water. And... <laughs> anyway, it's not about that. <laughs> Let's get these fish in now. We're doing one at a time. Is that, yeah, that'd be best, wouldn't it? I mean, it'll look cooler for the like, thumbnail if I do them. One at a time. Like, no, I mean one. One species at a time. Yeah. Are they different species then? For, for three different species. So you've got red zebras and albino zebras. Yeah. And then you've got ACI and yellow lab. So yeah, you've got oh, three okay. different species, okay. four different color forms. A little bit like rainbows to anyone else look like the same, mm. but they're different species. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Or subspecies of species? 
uh, or just no, completely different. different species. Okay. Yeah, but then there are yeah there are subspecies and species. Oh, yeah. Let's not <laughs> we get, won't get into that at no. the end of this video. Let's just put them in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Matt wants to tell us an interesting factoid about the Yellow Lab. Well, I think the Yellow Lab, as far as I remember, the Yellow Lab is the least um, common in Lake Malawi. Oh, okay. There's other colours of labs, but because there's not many yellows in the aquarium trade, they're the more popular ones because not, not many of the other species have a yellow form. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, as far, far to think as I remember. Of other yellow fish in general. There's not many. Platties that go a bit yellow, but. Not really. Yeah, not. They're it's a bit more, more orangey, yeah. aren't they? Anyway, but yeah. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> let's get them out. Okay, Matthew, are we ready for the first fish? Red zebras. Red zebras, is it? Oh, there they are. Red zebras that are orange. Your first Malawi. <laughs> I'm excited to see what they're going to do, actually. Probably swim. <laughs> so we've got six. Have we got six? One, yep. three, four, six, yeah. Six of each colour we went for. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, look at how good they look. They pop like crazy, don't they? Yeah, they're going to look so cool once they've settled properly. <laughs> Right, next, next, next. I want to. I want to get them all uncomfortable. All right, hang on, hang on. Are you not ready? Well, I was waiting for you. Oh, Matt's just sorting them out, but yeah, they look, they look. They're not even hiding. Are they hidey kind of fish, Matt? Or not really? No, they're quite confident to be really honest. Really confident. Hello, guys. Oh, they look so good. I mean, talk about colour. I know I get excited by the rainbows, but I mean. Okay, so what's these ones, Matt? These are ACI, ACI. yellow-tailed ACI. Yellow-tailed ACI. Oh, yes. So, so they're going to go electric blue once they're a little bit older. Okay. Well, actually, probably once they've just settled in, to be fair. I'll still see some blue then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They've settled right into a cave, a few of them. So these are the albino, albino zebras. Zebras, yeah. So they're the same as the reds, same family. They're oh, just yes. going to be white and blue. Yeah, you can see, well, I don't know if it's the blue from the light, but they're definitely showing some blue on them already. Yeah, they'll have a shine to them, definitely. They're already starting to do laps around the, uh, the islands. <laughs> and these are the yellow labs, yeah? These are yellow labs, yeah. In you go, yellow. Whoa, they are really, really yellow, especially under this lighting. Yay! <laughs> do you know what? I feel like we should have got double. We could have, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot, but no, it's good. No, it's, it's good. It's good. This is good. I'll... It leaves us open for a few more species. Yeah, because they said they're getting some more, didn't they? They are, so... yeah. They're getting some cobalt blues and... Um, oh, that'd be, be nice. To be fair, we might have some at Taunton at some point over the next few weeks. We always keep a few in, so you never know. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, it's good to start. I think it's a good starting level. Yeah. You know, give the, t the tank a chance to... and the filter. I mean, we do have quite a lot of fish in the tank. Uh, th this filter was attached to this one. So there, there is a lot of fish that are only a little bit smaller, to be honest. Yeah, they're not a great deal different, are they, actually? But the only difference is these require more feeding, yeah? Um, a or little not, bit, yeah. a little bit. The albinos will be the ones to uh, make sure they get food because they've not got as good an eyesight as the rest of them. Okay. The ACI, they, they really do stand up, stand out, sorry, don't they? Yeah. They're not standing up because that would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> that would be odd. God, they just pop like crazy. They, they seem do. to be really enjoying the environment as well. Yeah, they'll love this tank. So the idea is heavy stocking. We haven't gone crazy, but you know, it's a good starting point for sure. I'm just thinking about, is there anything you want to add for like any new beginners? Um, um, other than the complete basics of fish keeping, obviously. Yeah, no, it's really, Malawis are just one of those things. It's, it's knowing the types that you're keeping, whether you're going for open waters or like these guys, whether you're going for the Mabuna, the rock dwellers. Um, and really just making sure that you've got the numbers in there. If you start off with two, three or four, you're probably going to end up with one boss and the others are just going to cower away and hide away. So you're always worth keeping a few more than what you would normally do in an aquarium. Oh, look, look at this albino now. Let's get in, some, let's get in the blues, isn't it? Already? Yeah, getting a bit of blue and a bit of pink to it. It's really cool. Oh, it's only going to get better. So it's now the next day, and as you can see, the tank is looking fantastic. But the one thing I'm most impressed with is these fish are so not shy. It's like they, they know who I am already. I mean, they don't, but they're, they're associating me look, with food and, and they don't know me. They're not shy. Like, look, look at that. It's so cool. Coloured up beautifully as well. Look at the, you know, the, the vibrancy in the orange and the, and the yellow. And, the, and Matt's right, the albinos, not like you'd see in, say, a Cori, they've got really prominent sort of blue uh, fins to them as well, and some pinky hues, and there's some sparkling sort of bits in there. So, yeah, really, really impressed with these fish so far. 
Now, once we put them in, me and Matt were like, oh, we could have gone with a few more, but we made the right decision because Matt said they might have some variants in his shop soon. So we get some nice blues or something like that as well. I mean, he'll be the expert because I'll probably pick something that's not compatible. <laughs> but the fish really, really do seem to like interacting with the uh, environment and the, and the skate we've done here, because there's like a figure eight, it sort of goes through the middle there, round the back and then come back round here. And I keep seeing them do that, not now because I'm stood here, but when I'm stood back and like ignoring them, they just go on this sort of swimming spree all together and just explore the whole tank, which is so cool. Like I say, it's completely different to Tetras because if we come right next door, the Tetras just sort of flitter about. They just flick a bit here, flick a bit there, no real sort of purpose. But these guys, they're on a mission. Like, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> and, and what is quite interesting as well, they do seem to hang around a lot more in their sort of color groups. I didn't think they would, but you do quite often see a lot of the albinos together, or you see a lot of the, um, is it ACI? ACI, I think it was, the, uh, the blue and the yellow fins. Look at this red zebra in here, just exploring underneath there. Again, that's really cool, nice to see. And I'm just really, really pleased that they're enjoying the environment. Look at that going in the middle as well. Awesome, so cool. So it has now been a few days since the initial setup and the fish have settled right in. They're looking really, really happy. They explore all over the tank and they, yeah, they go across just like that, like in big groups, it's so cool. And they know that I'm the feeder, I'm the dad now. <laughs> they're waiting, it's first thing in the morning. They're hungry, let's give them some food. So they seem to like, a good bit of flake. Look at that, look. <laughs> They're quite sort of ravish eaters. They really like go for it really quickly. But they also like some of the sinking pellets as well. So I just put those all in the foreground like that. Look, there you go, look, they're going for it. And what happens is some of the food all sits on the bottom, but these fish are really good because not only do they eat from the top, they'll also scavenge all the bottom as well and pick up any of the like extra bits that have fallen. As long as you don't overfeed that is, if you feed them so much that they can't eat anymore, well, it's gonna sit there, isn't it? But a big thanks to Matt and all his help because I'm so pleased with how this one's turned out. It's like, it's kind of arty, but really, really functional for the fish as well. I've seen them going in and out of all the caves that we've made as well. Like, you know, that, that cave section in the middle there, and there's another one back there. They just go in and amongst everything all the time. As they get older, I'll probably add even more caves like in this section back here. But for the minute, it seems to be working really, really well. I just can't wait for these guys to put on a bit more size, color up even more. And also we can swap out maybe and add different variants and just see this aquarium evolve. 